Hi, welcome to Auto Motor Show EKG Canadian Enthusiast. Today we are doing the finale of the all comparison test to see which is the best entry level compact luxury sports sedan. So far, who are in the finale? Those competitors are the BMW M340i, BMW M440i, BMW i4 M50i, a Mercedes Benz C43 AMG sedan, Audi S5 Sportback, Audi S4. Lexus IS 500F Sport, Lexus RCF, Genesis G70, Kia Stinger, Acura TLX Type S, Cadillac CT5B, and the Cadillac CT4V. So, these are the ones who are in the finale. We had gone through three to four comparison tests. Now, if you want to know the specifications of all the vehicles, please check my previous videos. Please check my previous videos. Please, uh, please also hit the like button and subscribe to my show. So let's get immediately for the daily requirements. In terms of daily requirements, the C43 has the best interior, 10 out of 10. The all three BMWs get 9.5 each. The S5 and the S4 get 9 out of 10 each. The Lexus RC and the IS, they get 6 out of 10 each in terms of interior design. They're a little bit behind in terms of its competition, a tad behind. Genesis G70, 8 out of 10. Kia, 7.5. Acura TLX 7, 5.5 for the CT5, 5 for the CT4. In terms of comfort, no questions. 10 out of 10 for the C43, 9.5 each for all three BMWs, M340i, M440i and S5. And 9 out of 10 each for the S4 and the S5. 8.5 each for the RC and the IS. Uh, and eight out of uh, and of course eight out of ten for the G70 in terms of comfort seven point five for the Stinger seven out of ten for the Acura TLX Type S six out of ten for the CT5 five point five in my opinion for the CT4 in terms of ride and comfort seeing all the reviews that I personally seen in terms of technology it's all about tech tech matters ten out of ten for all three BMWs i4 M340i and M440i nine point five for the C43 nine out of ten for the S4 S5 six out of ten for the IS and the RC they are behind in terms of technology yes but that's a bit of a problem but it's fine it's not that much six out of ten eight point five uh, for G70 and the Kia Stinger 7 out of 10 for the TLX 8 out of 10 for the CT5 and CT4 because they come with crew they come with super crews and those type of features uh, in terms of uh, in terms of practicality this is where the liftbacks could benefit some but not everyone is liftbacks here the 10 out of 10 for the i4 and the M440 in terms of practicality yes the headroom is bad, but boot space and other practicality makes up for 10 out of 10. 9.5 for the S5, 9 out of 10 for the M340i, 8.5 for the C43, 8 out of 10 for the Audi uh, S4, uh, 6 out of 10 for the Lexus IS, uh, 3 out of 10 for the RC, it's a, it's a coupe obviously, 7 out of 10 for the G70, uh, then of course 7.5 for the uh, 7.5. 7.5 Give uh, 7 7 for the Kia, 7 for the G70. TLX, 5 out of 10 in terms of practicality, 4 out of 10 for the CT5, 3.5 for the CT4. If I made a mistake, please pardon me. In terms of full economy, these high performance vehicles, who cares? I don't care, but some people do. So for, the, for that group, I will tell you. 3 out of 10 for the C43, 5 out of 10 each for the M340i, and M440i, uh, 4 out of 10 uh, for, for the S4 and the S5, 2 out of 10 for the IS, 1.5 for the RC, 5 out of 10 for the G70, 4.5 for the Stinger, 2 out of 10 for the TLX, 3.5 for the CT5 and 2.5 for the CT4. Yeah, that's how the numbers have gone here. Yeah, that's pretty entanglement. If I made a mistake, I will cut it in the future if I did. Uh, in terms of range, now the i4 is an EV, so I could not leave points out of it. So, comparing for its competitors, the previous and overall as a range in my personal opinion, 8 out of 10. It's, it's not quite the range in my personal opinion, so yeah. Uh, in terms of quality, when it comes to these vehicles, I look at the quality of the materials more often if not. Because these are expensive vehicles. 10 out of 10 each for the M340i. 
M440i and the i4M50i. BMWs have tremendous build quality, have tremendous quality of its materials, have gone to high levels. The C43 is a last gen C class, so it's a little bit old, dated 9.5. 9 out of 10 for the S4, S5, 8 out of 10 for the RC and the IS. Their build quality long term is so good, it makes up for the quality of the materials attend. That's that off. Uh, 7 out of 10, uh, 7 out of 10, uh, uh, 7 out of 10 for the uh, G70 and uh, G70 gets 7, 7 out of 10. And so is the Kia Stinger. 7.5 for the TLX in terms of quality. It's far more reliable and got better materials in my opinion. 6 out of 10 for the CT5. 5.5 for the CT4. So these are not black free models from Cadillac. And it shows that they are far more comfort oriented. So that's the daily requirements. Let's get down to the weekend requirements. Which where these vehicles come into prominence. Except for the Cadillacs which you will see why. 10 out of 10 for the IS and the RC. Now the IS and the RC are actually slowed not to 60 than all three BMWs. But it has the most horsepower compared to every single competitor. And because of that I have to give it 10 out of 10. And it, and it, and it has a very decent not to 60 time. 10 out of 10 for the IS and the RC. 9 out of 10 for the M340i. 8.5 for the M440i. 10 out of 10 for the i4. Because the i4 has the most amount of power. Now you might say, yes, I previously, but in well, what I previously said is that the IS and the RC has more power compared to every single in, internal combustion competitor. The i4 has the most horsepower overall, and it's an EV and it's a quickest. 10 out of 10. Uh, 8 out of 10 for the C43, 6.5 for the G70, and 6.5 for the Kia Stinger in terms of performance. They are not that much off. 5 out of 10 for the TLX, then it's not that good in performance. Slowest not to 60 and the least amount of power. Actually, second, second or third least power actually. Uh, the CT4 and the CT5 has equal amount of horsepower. CT5 has 360 horsepower, CT4 has 325 or something. So, 6 out of 10 each because not to 60 wise, they are 0.1 second is the difference. So, overall... In terms of performance numbers, you can see why. Now, you might say why I would give 10 out of 10 for the IS, uh, IS and the RC if the i4 is, has more power. Because the i4 is an EV. I have to consider that as a factor because the RC and the IS have more horsepower than every single internal combustion competitor. Because of that, I have to give it full marks. And it's unfair if I don't give that mark for the IS and the RC. I hope you agree with me or share your opinion on that. In terms of handling, BMWs come into full prominence. 10 out of 10 for the M340i and the M440i. 9.5 for the i4. It's electric vehicle. So slightly heavier in my personal belief. 9 out of 10 for the C43 AMG. 8 out of 10 for the S4, S5. 7 out of 10 for the IS and the RC in terms of handling. 6 out of 10. Uh, sorry, it's, uh, 5 out of 10 for the G70 and the Stinger. Compared to the competition, they don't drive that good. Motor journalists have completely overrated this vehicle, in my personal opinion. It's just not that good. I'm sorry. You are wrong. Everyone is wrong. People are wrong about this vehicle. It's just not good. It's not a proper comparison. It just needs more power. That's the reality. And think this way. The IC, uh, the IS and the RC are actually M3 competitors as well. So you can't really, you know. Uh, 4 out of 10 for the TLX. It's a disappointment. Handling wise, the TLX Type S is a major disappointment. According to many reviews, I have personally seen. 3 out of 10 for the CT4 and the CT5. The reason is, I don't think they are very good. If you don't buy the Blackwing, buying a V version is kind of dumb. Because they don't drive that well and they are very common. They don't feel much more special in my personal opinion. In terms of styling, the Mercedes is the best. 10 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for the M340i, M440i and the i4. You see that styling is way too controversial. But I'm starting to grow. I like its styling and it's time to grow on me. That's why I'm giving it 7 out of 10 for all 3 BMWs. 9.5 for the S5 and 9 for the S4. 8 out of 10 for the IS. 8.5 for the RCF. 7 for the G70. 6 for the Kia Stinger in terms of styling. 5 out of 10 for the... TLX, 4 out of 3, so 4 out of 10 for the CT4 in styling, 
because adding the CT4 looks 10 better than the CT5 uh, and styling my CT5 3 out of 10 or let me call it CT5 4 out of 10 and CT4 3 out of 10 pardon me for my mistake there I'm slightly shaky because just this is a very tense comparison test in terms of brand prestige, again, you got to get the brief in terms of that situation here. Uh, 10 out of 10 for Mercedes, come on, 9.5 for BMW, each all three BMWs, 9 out of 10 for S4, S5, 8 out of 10 each for the IS and the RC, because they're Lexus products, and 6 out of 10 for the G70. Genesis is too new, it can't be recognized, it takes time. Lexus took more than 10 years to achieve that goal to be recognized, and Genesis can't do it overnight, I'm sorry. People can hate me if they want. 5 out of 10 for the Kia. Stinger, it's a Kia. You can't pay nearly $70,000 for a Kia. I just can't imagine that. 5 out of 10. I can, but the general public won't. 7 out of 10 for the TLX. It's Acura. It's a Type S. More value for money, even if it's generally, yeah. In terms of brand process, I just can't think. Advice, TLX is a more iconic name. 4 out of 10 for the CT5. CT4. Sorry, CT5 and CT4, 3 out of 10. The CT5 has a tad more brand prestige because it's much larger. The CT4 is not quite. In terms of future classics, this is where the vehicles, will you will talk about these vehicles 10, 20 years from now? C43, M340i, M440i gets 10 out of 10 each. 9.5 for the i4. It's an electric vehicle, so it, 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 it will always be more controversial until, until people get used to it. 9 out of 10, uh, then of course, yes, uh, 9 out of 10 for the S5, again, it's a much more sexier vehicle, and the S4 gets 8.5, so 9 out of 10 for the S5 and the S4, 8.5 each for the IS and the RCF, they'll be talked about for years to come because of their rear view drive V8 layer, but because they are beaten by Audi and Mercedes, that will be future legacy in terms of future class. Genesis is too new to have a classic, but 6 out of 10, 5.5 for Kia. It's a Kia. Many people will forget about it, even if the even though the Stinger is a very fantastic vehicle indeed. 7 out of 10 for the TLX, again, because it's a Type S, for the better or the worse, people are going to remember about this vehicle. That's the truth. 4 out of 10 for the CT5, 3.5 for the CT4. Again, no surprises there. Uh... Then, of course, value for money, the overall package. BMW offers the uh, offers an interior with slightly better material quality, better handling, better performance. 10 out of 10 each for the M340, M440 overall. 9.5 for the i4. 9 for the uh, C43 AMG. Uh, 9 out of 10 for the S4, S5. 8.5 for the IS and the RC because they're getting rear view drive, etc. But it's data... But its interior is behind the competition and because of those certain extra issues might hurt its value for money points. 8.5 each for both of them, RCIS. 6.5, uh, 6, sorry, for the G70. Again, it's too new to be recognized. And plus, it's not a proper S4 compared. I think it just falls short in terms of performance. 4.8, 4.9 seconds, it's actually poor in my opinion. But it's a very good vehicle, 6 out of 10. 5.5 for the Stinger. Who would pay that much money for a Stinger? I don't know. Would you? 5.5. Uh, 5. 7 for the TLX. Again, as I previously stated, previous Acura points. 5 for the CT5. 4.5 for the CT4. So overall, that's the weekend requirement. In terms of the overall winner, the top 6 best compact luxury sports sedans entry level are the BMW i4, 112 points. M440i, 109 points. M340i, 108.5 points. C43 AMG, 107.5 points. Audi S5, 102 points. S4, 100 points. That's the top six. BMW, Mercedes and Audi. That's the, again, these are the best in the game. There's no question. But don't forget Lexus. They did brilliantly. They are a slightly updated interior. Even more updated, they would have done even better. IS 500F Sport, 85.5 points. The RCF, 82.5 points. The G70, 80.5 points. Does a good job because most of its points are coming from the daily requirements, not from the performance-minded weekend requirements, just so you should know. Uh, Kia Stinger, 76.5 points. TLX Type S, 70.5 points. Makes up again in the daily requirement, not so much in the performance territory. And in brand prestige and future classics. CT5, 59 points, really, and 53 points on CT4. So overall, 
The winner of this comparison test is BMW's and Mercedes. It is BMW i4. It has proven that electric vehicles are the future. And there is no question about that. Electric vehicles are the future. There is no question. And thank you very much for joining me on the show. Hit the like button and subscribe to my show.